Howdy y'all, it's Beth here and you'll have to forgive me, I'm kind of doing a like longer time period for my melting basket for this week. It's actually going to be a two week long melting basket. That's because firstly I have a ton of Halloween themed wax that I need to get through. And secondly because it is my best friend's wedding um like this upcoming weekend and so just like with the bachelorette party getting all the final things done for her wedding with my classes with my practicum everything that's going on this week I just really like do not have the time to put together a second melting basket and I don't have the time to film and edit and all that Usually editing doesn't take too long as long as I don't ramble, which I'm doing right now. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get into it and show you guys this melting basket. It will go from October 18th through October 31st, which is Halloween. I am so excited. Um, and so yeah, without any further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. First off, from Southbound Candle Co., I have a few bigger items. This is a um, shape bag in the scent Blueberry Pumpkin Ice Cream. The notes are fresh blueberries and ripe pumpkins blended with sweet vanilla ice cream. And this just has the absolute cutest shapes, um, like a little, oh, oops, a little um, jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. She also has like a full 3D pumpkin and some like flat multi-shape pumpkins in there. So I definitely want to uh, melt through this one and finish it up um, during this two week time period. It's all the way from September of 2020. So it's very old, um, like already over a year old, which I do not like that. Um, this one is Southbound Candle Co. Witch Please in a loaf. The notes for this one are crunchy caramel brittle, salted peanuts, toasted pumpkin seeds, and vanilla buttercream cupcakes. Y'all, this scent is so, so good. OMG, I literally love this scent so much. Um, if it's offered again this year on her website, like, I'm gonna pick it up and hold on to it for next year. Because it's just so amazing. Um, probably not in a loaf though because I honestly just do not get through these bigger quantities of wax quick enough. Then I have this loaf which I may or may not keep to get through myself. I might end up sending it off to someone. Um, this one is in the scent Ghostly Brew. And the notes are spooky blend of cider donuts and vanilla bean noel all brewed into one ghostly treat. This one just smells weird to me on cold. Like it smells like alcohol on cold. And which that is not what the notes like cider donuts. Okay, cider is can be alcohol, but like, it's supposed to be, like, cider with a bakery, and it just smells like alcohol to me on cold. So, I heard from someone in the comments of my Chop and Chat video, I think it's on that video, that it smelled bad to them on cold too, but then warming it, it smelled good. So, I am going to try warming this one and just see how it goes, and if not, I probably will... Um, either like try to give it to a friend or either will just like get rid of it. So, um, I don't really like sell my wax or anything like that, but you know, I just would give it to a friend for free. Um, okay. So now for the other stuff I have, I'm just trying to, um, rearrange some things here so that I can fit everything. From Rose Girls, I have the scent Monster Cookie. This one I obviously am including because it is a monster cookie, so a monster is obviously for Halloween time. And this just smells like a really good bakery. I'm hoping that it's gonna have a good longevity. Um, Typically my Rose Girls does, but just with Cake by the Ocean, it didn't have a very long 
long longevity so I am hoping for this one to last a long time sorry y'all will have to forgive me I had to go for a second to fix my tea as you can see I am ready for Christmas time <laughs> um here already starting the first week of November is Christmas in the life of Beth so I'm super pumped about that I just have like a few fall things that I have to finish up anyways from Teddy Bees I have the crack of dawn the notes for this one are a layered blend of Witches Be Crazy and Coffee Bean a la mode. So because of that Witches Be Crazy, I'm including that in this Halloween themed melting basket. Oh my gosh. This scent is so, 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 so good. I literally love it. Um, okay. I definitely need to re, uh, recommend, or not recommend, but I definitely need to request that the next time I plan to make a Teddy Bees purchase, because it's so good. Okay, then from Brita's Creepy Treasures, I have a bunch of scents. So this one is Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. The notes are green, uh, grass, watermelon, honeydew, strawberry, raspberry, guava. And these are just cute little jack-o'-lantern shapes. So I had to include these. Um, and I wanted to like show you guys what they look like before I chop them because I have to chop them up to use them. This one is already chopped because I've used it one time. This is Minty Z's and the notes are lavender and buttermints. This one is super good in the bedroom. And for Brita's wax, you do not need a lot of wax at all. All you need is literally a fourth of one of these pumpkins. Like literally not a lot of wax. And it is so good. Lasts a long time. Throws so amazing. Literally. I've only made one purchase from her so far. But holy cannoli. I am going to make so many more purchases in the future. This one is the final girl. And the notes are cupcakes at Tiffany's. Strawberry and cotton candy frosting. This one smells so good. Like so good it's kind of weird because I definitely get like I get a little bit of smoothie on cold like a smoothie type of scent and that is not in the notes at all but look at that cute little jack -o lantern just smiling so happy that it's Halloween time okay this next one sorry y'all I am taking all these out of their double bags um this next one is Brita's Creepy Treasures Killer Clowns, and the notes are strawberry, blackberry, vanilla bean marshmallow, and cotton candy frosting. So, so good. Oh my goodness. I am so excited to melt these. Look at that. So cute. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I have more Brita's in here? Oh yeah, this one is even... A different kind of jack-o'-lantern face y'all this is creeps and berries the notes are tea and cakes blackberry jam and blackberry oh my goodness look at that mean mad jack-o'-lantern this one is definitely my favorites the um, cute little smiling faces but this mean face is kind of cute too honestly yeah, this smells so good. I like tea and cakes so much, so I'm excited for that one. Okay, also from Brita's, I have Grim Grinning Ghosts. The notes are coconut cream pie and banana walnut cake. Y'all, I have never tried a banana scent in wax before. I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie. It smells okay on cold. I need to try it warming though before I make up my mind. And this one's a cute little happy face. So I love those little jack-o'-lanterns. They're so, so adorable to me. 
This one is Toxic Bubbles, and the notes are Hawaiian Punch, Fizzy Pop, and Strawberry. And look at this mean, grumpy face. Okay. This scent smells so good. <laughs> Literally, like, all of them smell so good. Okay, I think this one is the last one from Brita's. The notes, uh, well, I have to tell you the name first. The name of this is Jigsaw Snacks. The notes are Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Blackberry Jam, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. OMG, a little happy face. So cute. Okay, so this one smells good. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. I might like it. I might not. Um, let's just put this little smiling face there. So from the Melted Mousse, I have the scent Hocus Pocus. The notes are banana nut bread and pumpkin pecan waffles. Again with the banana. Yeah, this one is good. This one is like a bakery banana. The other one, uh, let me see, can I find it again? I don't know. The other one I think had coconut cream pie and that made it like not as bakery. I feel like the coconut is like a fresh, um, like summery type of scent, but this one is like a bakery banana and, um, so we'll see how I feel about it. Um, I'm just trying out banana in wax for the first time. So we'll see how it goes. From Teddy Bees, we have Trickin' and Treatin' because obviously on Halloween, okay, so I didn't even explain. Hocus Pocus is from literally one of the best Halloween movies in the world, Hocus Pocus. So that's why it's in this melting basket. And then Trickin' and Treatin' is because obviously on Halloween, when you are a kid or if you have a kid, you go trick or treating on Halloween. Okay, um, the notes are purple sugar, which is pink and blue sugar, beach treats, which is beach nights, and vanilla cake pops. This one smells good. It is definitely fresh. Oh, should I touch this because it's super soft and it's going to be messy. Um, look at how pretty that is too. Um, literally... It reminds me of summertime, but yet it is a fall wax. So I am super stoked. I am a mood melter. So I, you know, I am going to be so happy to have a dose of summer scents in fall. So I'm very excited about that. Okay. Also from Teddy Bees, I have one more. This is, well, one more from Teddy Bees and then I have some more wax. This is Strawberry Pound Cake and Witches Be Crazy. Obviously, the Witches Be Crazy is why this one is in there. It's birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla layered with strawberry pound cake. This one smells good. Um, I need to compare it with the Strawberry Pound Cake and Teddy Bear Biscuits scent. I really like that one. Ugh, of course the phone is ringing. As I was saying, I need to compare this one with Strawberry Pound Cake and Teddy Bear Biscuits, which is one that is also from Teddy Bees and I really like it. I just don't want to fall in love with like every single Strawberry Pound Cake scent known to like man because, you know, like seriously, I, how much strawberry pound cake can a girl have? I don't know. So anyways, I really need to be selective about my strawberry pound cake blends, but I'm excited to give that one a try. Okay, L3 Waxy Wonders. I have the scent. The dolly made me do it. And this one I picked because it's it kind of can be like a creepy name, like... I don't know because I was talking to my sister about it and I was like, I don't know if it's made after like Dolly, Dolly Parton or if it's made after like, you know, supposed to be creepy. 
like the dolly made me do it like chucky the dolly or something so um you know like a possessed doll or something like that so anyways <laughs> pretty much why am i talking about this okay pretty much i picked that one for that reason of like the dolly made me do it is kind of like a creepy name like say it is like a mean doll or something so kind of like something a little spooky for halloween i don't typically you know like super scary stuff like that um but i do have a few that are like you know on more the scary side than the cute the cute side of halloween so um this next one is in the scent chucky from super tarts the notes are vanilla bean clementine and honey this is my other like scary one of the dolly made me do it and chucky are my only two scary ones the rest are like just cute this one to me smells like body odor on cold but but i am going to try my best to give it a try just one cube and see maybe it will change while warming people say good things about this scent so i'm kind of hoping that it's just it that the scent will transform while it's warming but if not i need to get rid of this scent because if it doesn't change while it's warming and it smells like bo while it's warming I cannot have our house smelling like body funk, okay? Okay. Um, okay, just two more things. So, this one is my first wax ever from Midnight Daydream Wax Company. I'm so excited. I heard about this vendor from Lexi from Two Quick Wicks. And ever since she talked about this vendor, I, like, have been looking at this vendor on Instagram and everything like that and back in may i made my first purchase but i was like oh i'm gonna let them sit for a while um just to be sure you know because it is my first impression of this vendor i want to make sure i'm giving them a good chance of you know smelling up my house and having a good performance so this one is in blueberry juicy fruit and the notes are blueberry and juicy fruit type this one smells good. I picked it because it obviously is called Boo Berry. So kind of like a ghost goes boo and like, you know, it's supposed to be scary. So that's why I picked that one for this melting basket. And then last but not least from the Melted Moose, I picked the scent Sleepy Hollow because it is in the shape of this um, like skull. And also, I think Sleepy Hollow is supposed to be, like, a scary thing, but I'm not really sure. Um, so, anyways, I wanted to pick it for Halloween, for my halloween theme melting basket. And I will probably chop this one in half and melt it in my bedroom. Um, you do not need a lot of wax at all for the melted mousse. So, that's why I think it'll be fine to chop it in half. And that is everything, y'all, for my melting basket for the next two weeks. So it'll go from October 18th through October 31st. So, yeah, I'm excited. And hopefully um, y'all enjoyed it. And I know I enjoyed putting it together. And I will see y'all next time. And as always, make sure you stay positive till then. Bye.